it's John with JohnLaGuardia.com bringing you tips and tools for outdoor adventure. On today's episode we've got a full review of the Chasm Light Stand-Up Paddleboard by Cocapelli. Let's go! The Cocapelli Chasm Light Stand-Up Paddleboard is the lightest, most packable stuff on the market today. It condenses down to the size of a small sleeping bag and it weighs just 12.9 pounds, which is awesome. So you'll see I've taken some things out of the bag here. There is a pump that's included with the hose. Also that orange thing is a patch kit. Uh, there's also a back fin, a leash, and of course the stand-up paddle, which is made from carbon fiber. So that is an awesome lightweight paddle. Uh, you'll see the paddleboard come out here in a second after the pump. We've got a double action pump and the paddleboard itself is pretty small you know i'm pulling that out it really is the size of a small sleeping bag so that's pretty awesome there's some included adapters too for the pump as well and then that bag is really a dry bag that you can wear as a backpack it's got nice big pockets on the side that you can put water bottles in and you can actually hike with that pack this particular stand-up paddleboard is intended to be used up on a high alpine lakes, so it's great for hiking up and um, getting it all set up on the shore of an alpine lake and taking it out that way. So right here I'm just unfolding the paddleboard, getting it ready so that I can connect the pump. And uh, there's a little cap on the back, so you take that off of the air valve and then you get your pump all set up. So here I'm starting to put the pump together and you'll notice that uh, I struggle just a little bit with this pump getting the tube onto the handle. So you just kind of screw it on and when it started to screw on I didn't I didn't feel like it seemed like it was going on there very good so I tried it like a few different times uh, just to see if I could get it on there better but apparently you really don't need to have it screwed on too much. It's more like a, like a half a turn, basically. So that threw me for a little bit of a loop when I was doing that. But you'll notice that there is threading on both sides of the pump handle. One side is for inflation and the other is for deflation. So I just made sure that I was on the right side and uh, that I had that on there uh, with a decent fit. And then I hooked it into the paddleboard and the inflation valve, and I started pumping. So uh, I'm getting there. It took me just a bit. I was like, what's the best way to thread this onto the handle? You know, do I, do I pull the, the hose out a little bit? But uh, in the end, it wasn't as bad. I was, you know, this was my first time doing it, so um, you just, I thought it would need a more secure fit than it did, and you know, it just goes on super easy. So uh, I started pumping, and it did take me probably about three minutes to pump this thing up completely on my own. But one thing that I would suggest is using a very small pump. Cocapelli sells one. It's like a USB powered pump. You charge it up overnight, and then you take it with you. and. You can use it. You can see here I'm getting pretty tired <laughs> from pumping. Uh, so I highly recommend that uh, powered pump. And you'll see here um, I'm starting to put together the stand up paddle. And I did have a little bit of trouble with this piece as well. Um, it looks really intuitive, but for some reason I couldn't get that top part. Um, into the clamp area. I don't know what they call that little connector there, but I had a little trouble like fitting it in. Um, maybe it was just screwed on a little bit too tight. So um, I just tried uh, trial and error a little bit and then finally got it to go in. And once I did, it was really easy. And you know, I've been many times since this first time that I filmed and I was able to you know, take that in and out without any issue so I think it was more user error than anything on that so 
So here I'm going to flip the board over and I'm going to put the fin on the back. You just line up the slots that are in the fin with the slots that are in the board. And then you pop the little clip in there and you can kind of hear it snap when you clip it. And once you do that, you're all set and ready to get out on the water. Uh, it does have an occluded leash that I mentioned before, so here I'm just putting that around my ankle. A lot of people will just take the leash and, and kind of put it onto the handle, but uh, I tend to always use the safety features of everything. You can notice I have a PFD on as well. A lot of people will just strap that to the front of their paddleboard, but uh, the PFD that I'm wearing is so comfortable that uh, I don't mind doing that. I put my waterproof phone inside the pocket of the PFD along with my car keys so that I don't get back to my car and realize that I dropped my keys in the lake. So here I'm just going to paddle out and uh, give you an idea of kind of what that, what it looks like to use the board out on the water. Uh, I've used this quite a bit during the testing period. I've had it a few months and I've been able to uh, paddle quite a bit <laughs> pretty much four or five days a week so I've used this thing quite a bit um, at 10 feet long and 30 inches wide it's also six inches thick um, the chasm light exceeds the current standards for ultra lightweight durability and packability in a board of that size so it's pretty awesome that all the accessories and the board inside the backpack weigh also weigh under 20 pounds that's pretty incredible too so uh, you can really take this thing just about anywhere you know if you were going on a trip using a commercial airline you could actually carry that on uh, and put it under the seat uh, you also could take this thing hiking with you it's got some pretty nice shoulder straps on the dry bag. Just note that you don't want to carry the, the full bag with all the weight in it uh, with just one of the straps or just the strap handle because it will come off of that dry bag. So you just want to make sure you put both straps over your shoulders before you uh, go, go carry it any long distance. But it's perfect for hiking up to Alpine Lakes like I mentioned before. It's made from ultralight 500 denier crosswoven drop stitch PVC construction. So that makes this board very well designed, uh, very well constructed, and it's super durable with those materials. There are double layers on the rails, which increase the stiffness and the lateral rigidity of the board. So that's, that's another big thing to point out. And there's single layers on the deck and the bottom to help it reduce the weight of the paddleboard itself. So uh, they've really thought through this design, glued up all the seams, and you know made it super ultra light, which is one of the reasons why I decided to keep this board. It's uh, it's something that I'm going to use a lot. So I'm still out on the water here, and I'm just paddling in this short little spot to give you an idea. Um, this is out on a local reservoir in Fort Collins and one thing that I noticed uh, is when the water starts getting choppy when there's other boat wakes and stuff, um, this thing tends to become a little unstable. It's not really made for that type of water. It's made for inlets and alpine lakes that are glassy kind of like what you see here you know um, so just keep that in mind this paddleboard is really really fantastic and I think that uh, if you're using it for those types of things it'll be perfect for you so as I bring the board up on shore here I just want to say Thank you so much for spending the time with me here today and if I brought you some value by seeing this review uh, please hit that subscribe button down below that would mean the world to me as we try to get the channel up to a thousand subscribers this year 
you know, I really respect your time and I super appreciate you, you spending the time to watch the video. So I hope you enjoy the rest of my review playlist on this channel. There's a lot of outdoor products and different things that I review here, all based on helping you get out on your adventures easy, easily and quickly. And um, I believe that that's all for today. I really appreciate it again, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.